Hey everyone, it's Suchi from Nagios. In this video, I'm going to be doing an overview about hosting service details in Nagios XI. This video will explore how to navigate the various features within Nagios XI to view in-depth information about your monitored hosts and services. The Details tab offers a variety of ways to view host and service statuses. To access it, navigate to Home, which is where you land when you first log in, and the Details tab will be on the left. There are several options for exploring host and service details. Host and service status shows an overview of all your monitored hosts and services. Host and service group summaries show an overview of the status of all groups. Host and service group overviews are similar to summaries, but with a more detailed breakdown by assigned groups. Host and service group grid combine host and service statuses into a single table categorized by assigned groups. The service status page displays a comprehensive list of all monitored services in a table format with color coding to indicate their current status. This will be your go-to dashboard most of the time when looking to see if anything is in a problem state. If you click the status column header a couple times, you can sort it so that unknown and critical services are on top. For more in-depth information on a service, click on it to go to the service details page. The service status details page offers a comprehensive view of a service's health with tabs showing different key aspects of the service's health. Overview shows service information like current state, duration of its current state, stability of the service's state, the time of the last check, next check time, quick actions, and miscellaneous information. Performance graphs shows a visual representation of the service's performance data if applicable. Advanced shows more detailed service status, service attributes, basic commands, and more options that have been enabled in Nagios Core. Configure lets you modify or delete basic service settings. Advanced configurations require the Core Configuration Manager. Capacity Planning shows you any capacity planning graphs you've associated with it, but this feature is only available if you have the Enterprise Edition of XI. Custom Variables show which variables have been defined for the service. Network Traffic Analysis lets you analyze network traffic if you've integrated XI with Network Analyzer. Like the Service Status page, the Host Status page presents a table listing all monitored hosts with color-coded statuses. Click on a link within the Host column to access the dedicated Host Details page. The Host Details page mirrors the structure of the Service Details page, providing insights into the host's health with tabs for Overview for showing basic host information Services shows information on services for the host Performance graphs Advanced Configure Capacity planning Custom variables and Network traffic analysis it's important to note that when you're using the Configure tab, you can't delete a host until all of its dependent services have been deleted. Both service and host status pages provide tabs for accessing further functionalities, including the current status, notification settings, historical data, and availability reports. XI allows you to view status summaries for host groups and service groups. These summaries offer a consolidated view of the health of all groups and services within a single table, which is ideal for integrating them into a dashboard. On this page, you can explore group details or available commands by clicking the corresponding icons. Each host group and service group page also provide additional options for quick access to details, summary, overview, and grid. Similar to the host and service status pages, Group overviews display group statuses, but are categorized by assigned groups within the tables. Host and service group grids offer a combined view of host and service statuses within a single table, categorized by assigned groups. If any of these current or previous tables interest you, they can be added to the dashboard page by clicking on this icon. And there you go. Now you know a little bit more on host and service details. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. For any questions or assistance, visit support.nagios.com. And until next time, take care and keep monitoring.